Wait, look. Are. are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. See if you can get another one. done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? Morning, mister. Just back off. You looking to get a rise out of me? You do not want to mess with me. I'll empty this entire this what chamber. You want? Wait, what the hell? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Damn it. Stay where you are. Hey, you just the toughest Teak Mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's all worth her. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me.
I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Uh, uh, How did that... Uh, 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 pair of damn fools! Kill you both! You're going down! You're dead, friend! One more! Oh my god! You killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off Absolute my head. Absolute garbage! Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Sweet Jesus. Oh my God. That only scares me. <laughs> Now, observe, as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done, and cheat death! As if it were nothing. Nobody cares! What is he doing? Christ. Bunch of dang boulder dash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm. And I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Alright, let's go. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take care. Oh, gonna fight is too much. This is incredible. And fire. an illusion, after all.
someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. Uh, yes, sir, there should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Hello? Bien the bonjour. Hey, yo. Bonjour. Bonjour. Good morning. Bonjour. Good morning. Make this country a real democracy. Bien, bonjour. Hello, ma'am. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Oh, just splendidly, thank you. Nice. Good morning. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> she killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. <clears throat> So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the battle. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> My luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. 
I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but... You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. You gonna help me? Uh, you gotta. Uh, 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 you gotta. Please, do something. Uh, uh, I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay.
Yes, yes, oh, we are. <laughs> now. You're going to be in a better place. Now stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> Don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, oh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well. It's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Why well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above! Or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away! Right! Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. But don't stop, sir. We should keep ascending. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Out. Keep on going. You're doing splendidly. What you're doing. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? It feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. 
This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of pump. So long as it works. Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. Okay, we're getting a little high now. Please descend a little. There isn't enough wind at this height. I told you we need to descend, or we won't move. Now this is good. Nice airflow here. was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassare. You know, so you could say I got off light. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. For miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd survive. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That's not him. Okay, he ain't by the barn. This was not the tour I had in mind. Maybe try looking lower down. There. 
look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? There are also some to your right. Specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased! Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather it. Oh, yes. Hey, say it! Up there! Shit, they're all dressed. This is Abba. Yes, he does. I think I might need to adjust my feet.
baby. <coughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old crystals! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? OK. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that.
Yeah. 